Interstate 96 and Business US 31 on the eastern boundary of Norton Shores southeast of Muskegon. And the eastern terminus is at I-75 near the Ambassador Bridge in Detroit. From Grand Rapids through Lansing to Detroit, the freeway parallels Grand River Avenue, never straying more than a few miles from the decommissioned US-16. The Wayne County section of I-96 is named the Jeffreys Freeway from its eastern terminus to Thay. Junction with I-275 and M-14. Though maps still refer to the freeway as the Jeffreys, the portion within the city of Detroit was renamed by the state legislature as the Rosa Parks. Memorial Highway in December 2005 in honor of the late civil rights pioneer. There are four auxiliary interstates as well as two current and four former business routes. Associated with I-96, Grand River Avenue originated as an Indian trail before Michigan statehood. It later was used as a wagon road across the state. The roadway was included in the state trunk line highway system in 1919 as M-16 and later the United. States numbered highway system as US-16. Construction of a freeway along the length of the corridor was proposed in the 1940s and included as part of the interstate highway system in the mid-1950s. This construction was started in 1956 and initially completed across the state to Detroit in 1962. The proposed route for the Jeffreys Freeway in Detroit was moved in the 1960s. It was built in the 1970s. I-96 was completed on November 21, 1977, in the Detroit area, closing the last gap along the route. Since then, additional interchanges and lanes have been added in places to accommodate traffic needs. I-96 is maintained by the Michigan Department of Transportation as a segment of the larger state. Trunkline Highway System In 2011, the department's traffic surveys showed that on average, 201,200 vehicles used the highway daily between 6 and 7 mile roads in Livonia. Near Norton Shows, 20,638 vehicles did so each day between airline and fruit port roads. These are the highest and lowest counts along the highway, respectively. As an interstate highway, all of I-96 is included in the National Highway System, a network of roads important to the country's economy, defense, and mobility. In addition, the highway in Detroit has been named the Rosa Parks Memorial Highway by the Michigan Legislature. To honor the civil rights pioneer Rosa Parks, the segment from Livonia West to I-275 is the Jeffreys Freeway. Named for a former mayor of Detroit, Edward Jeffreys, I-96 begins at a three-quarter cloverleaf interchange with US-31 northeast of the Muskegon County. Airport in Norton Shows, near Muskegon. At the starting terminus, the highway has a grassy median and two lanes in each direction as it travels southeasterly through rural Muskegon County. The freeway is paralleled by airline highway in an area with a mix of fields and residences as far as Fruitport. I-96 bypasses that village to the north and east before crossing into Ottawa County at Fruitport Road. After a distance of about 5 miles in the county, the trunk line reaches Nunica. The highway crosses the Crockery Creek and turns eastward toward Coopersville. The freeway runs parallel to the Grand River, about 2.5 miles to the north. Near Ironwood Drive, I-96 turns southeasterly again and goes through Mann. Beyond Mann, I-96 passes the western end of M11 and crosses into Kent County, curving around a rest area for the eastbound lanes. The freeway runs eastward through a light industrial area of the suburb of Walker as it enters the Grand Rapids metropolitan area. At the interchange with Alpine Avenue, M37 merges onto the freeway and the two run concurrently past the studios for WZZM TV with its iconic weather ball, a 16-foot wide sphere 100 feet above the ground that uses colored lights to display a weather. Forecast adjacent to the studios are the ramps from eastbound I-96 to southbound US-131 and from northbound US-131 to westbound I-96. These ramps mark the northern end of I-296. An unsigned auxiliary interstate highway designation applied to them and the US-131 freeway south.
to downtown Grand Rapids. I-96 turns northeasterly past a commercial area to a three-quarter cloverleaf interchange that provides all of the other connections with US-131 next to a crossing of the Grand River. East of the river, I-96 and M-37 pass through the northern suburb of Comstock Park, intersecting connector M-44 where M-37 separates from the freeway to turn southward. Through this series of interchanges, I-96 curves to the east and then turns back southward after passing through them. There are two more interchanges for M-21 and Cascade Road before I-96 meets the eastern end of M-11. At 28th Street, the next interchange for 36th Street provides access to the Gerald R. Ford International Airport. The freeway continues to the east of the airport and then intersects the eastern end of M-6 at N. Interchange over the Thonapal River. The freeway exits the edges of the Grand Rapids. Uh.